So I am uh, just got back from the range and I uh, got some video to show you. So I thought I'd uh, show you my first attempt at uh, range shooting. I've been in the range many times, but uh, first time I took my camera. So, yeah. Okay, so to close my uh, video here, I'm gonna go through what my gun, what my gear is. Got this Allen uh, small bag for my handgun. Um, that's my uh, Howard Light. These things work okay. I had to do double uh, hearing protection for these, so I don't know what the deal is. I know I know I didn't have to the first time I, I uh, used them. But I have a set of these. I got I get a couple different sets of different types of hearing protection. Uh, the uh, Elvex, which is a plug. They're washable. You wash them in soapy water. They're good. They made a big difference. Um, <clears throat> so my Beretta multi-tool came with the gun. Nice rag. Uh, I have my four mags. Of course, they're not in correctly, and uh, they're empty, so I gotta reload them before somebody breaks in my house, tries to do something. Always gotta be prepared, right? So uh, it fits my four mags in there really well, and then on the top, 
Shooting gloves, didn't wear them, didn't use them. Another rag. This one is more of like a, uh, it feels more like a, uh, it's, it's more coarse, this is more buff. So we're good to have. Shooting glasses, I threw these on as a afterthought and they were more of a pain in the ass than anything else. But gotta have shooting glasses, keep your eyes safe. <clears throat> so you can basically, you can put two handguns in here if you wanted. This is big enough, this is the PX4 Storm. Um, no mag, empty. Uh, it fits a handgun. You could probably fit something bigger in there if you wanted to give you an idea how big it is. Nice good sleeve on, on both sides. I'm glad I got it. It's a nice nice bag. Uh, when I'm not, if I go to the range, I am not carrying both weapons. Um, this is a good small range bag I can take. So. Um, <coughs> I had some hot loads shooting, um, as you saw in the video, or you will see in the video, um, there was some pretty good blast coming out of the front of this thing. Um, yeah, it flashes from time to time, but I, I, I saw it in the replay back of the video, it was pretty, pretty, playing pretty hot, so I don't know if that's the reloads that I had or, or what, but... Doesn't look too bad. And it's got you know typical typical cleaning will need to be done, but uh, yeah, great gun, love it. Um, waiting for my next gun. I don't know. We'll see. So next will be the AR. Okay, so. This is my UT, uh, UTG range bag. Um, I really, really like this bag. Everything but the zippers don't go down all the way on the first pocket because you have to fold it in half and it doesn't stay. So, <coughs> uh, yeah, I'm the guy with only six magazines, P mags. So these guys are empty, flawless, no issues. Um, the AR-15 I shot, um, six 30-round P-mags, um, zero errors with the with the gun. Um, I usually keep a bandana in here. You got my uh, indicator. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, I do have. Another rag that I keep in here just in case for whatever. Wiping stuff down. I got my sling in here. And then the gun. These straps really uh, assist. Now, I did make a change, guys and gals. <coughs> Get this out of the way here. Came with A2 flash hider, and now I have the uh, uh, the Midwest Industry Industries one on there. It has a nice. If you focus it on that, maybe that will help. Maybe not. Um. <coughs> I don't know. I, I did notice there was a difference in shooting with this. Um, I, sh I shot iron, iron sights, and then I shot with the uh, the Vortex Red Dot, and it, it was okay. I didn't have any issues. This works fine. Um, I think I have have changed my zero from moving this forward and back. Um, I don't know how that's possible, but it, I, I think it happened because I was shooting uh, low and to the left when before I was hitting bullseye pretty good. Um, I'm still having an issue with 
full extension on the stock. And with my arm out, I'm at probably a elbow bent like that. So the new, latest and greatest thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to this what's on here in the Midwest Industries um, uh, Gen 2 SS free float handguard. This is a 12 inch and they have available a 15 inch so I think I'm gonna get the 15 inch and put it on there it's kind of expensive by itself it's like 170 bucks so I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not but um, even with hand stops all the way to the end and I'm finding that it's hard for me I feel like I you know with my crickety arm here I feel like this position like this is the way my arm is um, I, I need it to be, I, I guess I'm going right into the, you know, vertical grip, but, um, I kind of would like it to be straight like this. I'd like to have my arm out straight. <coughs> so like, like this type of action instead of like that, because my, my elbow is bent and it, it, the fatigue is there, um, to get a good steady aim. So, uh, I would say today was not a very good range day. Uh, for me, I didn't shoot well at all, or I wasn't pleased with how I shot, but uh, everything worked great. Um, this thing got real hot. This, this got hotter than the A2. Well, it probably didn't get hotter, but this vented, the A2 vents a lot better than this one does. Um, this thing, it started to get like a white, or maybe it was powder, I don't know, but it was getting like a, a white shade. Not white, but just like grayish instead of black. Um, I don't recall seeing that with the A2 flash hider. Um, so believe it or not, this A2 flash hider is a good deal. Um, I have to shoot this Midwest Industries. A little bit more um, to get a better understanding of, of what it's doing for me um, but it, it's it's great it's a great flash hider I think that these kind of things uh, you, you might have to get a few of them before um, you find the right one for you so yeah um, it's a good little unit so love my gun thanks for watching